Hi, I'm Rick Bidlack with Wheatstone, and today I want to show you just some basic features of the uh, what we call the classic Vox Pro screen, or Vox Pro in classic mode. It's in classic mode because you see the uh, the yellow icon over here with the microphone is lit up. So in this mode, we basically see the waveform editor at the top. We see the file list at the bottom. Um, we'll start in the upper left hand corner. Um, the first indicator that you see up here is uh, blank at the moment, but what this is going to show us is um, the length of whatever we have selected. So if I use my um, control panel and I set a mark and then let's say set another mark here, now I know that I have five seconds, 5.36 seconds of audio selected in that region. Next to that is an indicator that tells me what uh, mode I'm in. I'm in standby mode, meaning nothing is happening. I can play. Will now be I'm one playing. Year I can scrub. <laughs> now it's scrubbing. Or, of course, I can record. Now it's recording. I'm going to cancel that with the cancel button and I'm back into the file where I was originally. In the upper right corner over here, I see an indicator that tells me I have 1,471 hours of disk space left available um, on this hard drive. So I've got plenty of room to make all kinds of recordings and edits. Continuing down, um, these, these little indicators here are a quick way to zoom in on the waveform. I don't really need to do that. It's already pretty hot. Um, uh, up at the top of the uh, waveform editor, um, you notice there's a little white triangle. I can drag this around like so. I can click anywhere in here and go to that place. Um, what this is basically telling me is, um, this is this corresponds to the length of the file in its entirety, from the beginning to the end. Any place that I put the white triangle, that's that that realigns the cue line to that position. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm not paralyzed, and I'm not. Okay, so for example, I come back here. Now I'm at that location. Things kind of like file. get a use a feel for everything. Down below, we see the length of the file in its entirety, 3 minutes and 14 seconds. I can see that I'm uh, 44 seconds into the file. I have 2 minutes and 29 seconds remaining till the end of the file. Um, up in this corner, I see that I have 13 files in this particular folder that I'm in. They're all listed down here. Most of you will have uh, undoubtedly many, many more files than just that. This is called the file list. I can, uh, I can arrange any, uh, I can arrange these files by, uh, right now they're arranged by, by name. I can arrange them by length. So the longest file is on top. I can arrange them by the date that they were created. Uh, or the date that they were last modified, I should say, or, I, or the date that they were created. I can arrange them by size. Uh, size now refers to the actual amount of room that they take on the disk as opposed to how long they are. And in the very last column, um, the format that they were recorded in, these all happen to be in exactly the same format. Over here, I have my VU meters. So then up here in this section, uh, we have our controls for background recording. Uh, we've made another video about background recording, which you may want to look at. Uh, this lets me um, go in and out of background recording, and I can edit the background recording. These two buttons over here, actually there's three buttons. The master button, um, goes back to the original m version of the file, the, the original version before you've done any editing. And it's all yellow at that point. Um, you cannot edit anything in master mode, but you can 
uh, select, you can copy, and you can paste that into another file. Next to the master button, I have two buttons here. Uh, one is, uh, looks like a bonfire. This is how I open the hotkeys panel here and close the hotkeys panel. Uh, and then this other button, and we'll have to cover this with another video. This, is, uh, this toggles multi-track mode, which I've just gone into. You can get out of any of these modes. Here I'm in multi-track mode with, uh, with hotkeys showing. The file list is over on the right. If I hit the classic view button, it takes me right back into classic mode. And uh, for most of you, that's probably where you'll be most of the time. So if you have any other questions about uh, Vox Pro 6 features, uh, there's plenty of videos up on our website at voxpro.wheatstone.com. See you there.